full dive, the technology of our dreams, or rather the technology that bridges reality with dreams, to experience the impossible, to live the life that you choose, whether it's simply to experience the lifestyle of a billionaire, or be in the shoes of any character from any piece of literature or film. Full Dive can enrich the lives of everyone and upgrade humanity to the next level. The technology that could give us this dream is being developed today. While in present, it may not be here. We are heading down a path to this future, and that's why today we are asking the question, how will we get there? We will start with current technology and where it's headed. It's crazy to think VR has only been readily available since 2016. The technology has come far in such a short amount of time. The Rift in 2016 was a fantastic start. While you had to be stationary and use an Xbox controller, it still provided that window into a new reality. The HTC Vive after that was the next evolution, providing tracked controllers and freedom of movement. I remember spending well over 2k to experience this for myself and I was blown away. The ability to be and move inside the new world was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I would spend hours each night playing Gorn or Super Hot with no goal in sight, just playing to soak up the richness of the experience. Fast forward to today and the game has changed. Now headsets can be taken anywhere. The resolution is at a point where screen door effect is at a minimum and tracking is almost perfect. But this is not full dive or nowhere near for that matter. VR is a window into a full dive world, but you are contained on the true experience. You won't feel the soil between your toes, the wind in your hair, or the smell of the environment around you. While some can be faked in such, such as VR smell, it's too clunky to incorporate all the senses. A good analogy I like to use is the film Avatar. VR and full dive is like the difference between the humans in the mechs and the Na'vi. The humans operating the mechs might know what Pandora looks like, the details and the sounds, but the Na'vi know what Pandora feels like, which is an entirely different experience. So VR is still in its early days. It has a lot of development left and there's plenty of room to improve, such as field of view, graphical fidelity, controllers, movement, but even with peak headsets, say the one from Ready Player One, where your entire vision field is encompassed and movement is natural, this still won't be full dive and nowhere near it. This tells me that VR isn't going to aid towards the development of a full dive rig, but what VR will do is build the world that could be experienced by full dive. The VR world of the future the metaverse will be used roughly the same way a full dive metaverse would be. Essentially what I picture is something like the Oasis. So now we understand that VR will give us our full dive metaverse. What will give us access to this world? There are two technologies that will make full dive potentially possible. I don't know of any way to wirelessly input information into the brain. So the two technologies are more intrusive. The least promising of the two, in my opinion, is Neuralink. BCIs or brain computer interfaces have been around since the early 70s and what it essentially is, is think wires that protrude directly into the brain, sort of like a fork in an apple, but more refined. Currently, most BCIs are used to read data from the brain and then decode it and give a command, say move a robotic arm up and down. Also, they could be used to input data to interact with individual neurons to have a certain effect on the brain, say vision, for example. Currently, this is being used to aid disabled patients, but the potential stems way further. Now, what Neuralink is doing differently is essentially increasing the number of wires in the brain so they can interact with more neurons at a time. The hopes then is this will be able to increase the number of use cases for the device and the possibilities could be endless. You could have access to the internet just by thinking or give yourself eidetic memory or even download memories. Now to implement full dive technology, this would be complicated. To start, you'd need to put the body into some form of paralysis, then essentially trick the brain into thinking the body and sensory field is somewhere else. Now, fortunately, we have a natural full dive system built into us that does all of this. 
When we dream, our body goes into sleep paralysis to stop injury. When we lucid dream, we are conscious enough to move through the environment with our dreams freely. Now imagine you'd have to somehow hijack this natural ability in order to have a, some form of full dive experience. You could only imagine what could potentially happen if this technology was to go wrong. Essentially, you could be trapped in a paralysed hell somewhere on the internet. The reason I think Neuralink might not be the best technology for full dive is it can only influence so many neurons. And the only real way to increase this is to have more holes drilled in your head, which I don't think anyone would be a fan of. But there is hope, and it comes in the form of nanotechnology. According to Ray Kurzweil, Director of Engineering at Google, nanobots could be flowing through our bodies as soon as 2030. That's eight years from now. Nanotechnology inside the body could solve an insane amount of issues and enhance humans like never before. From curing cancer to increasing stamina tenfold and giving us that juicy full dive we desire. Nanobots could specifically target individual neurons anywhere in the brain and would be no more invasive than swallowing a pill. Millions or billions of interconnected robots would be swimming throughout the brain to provide this possible experience. The only thing that would get in the way of this possibility is understanding. We still know very little about how the brain truly functions, but it's up to technologies like Neuralink and nanotechnology to further enhance our understanding of the brain. Hopefully, once these technologies are implemented, our understanding can exponentially increase to get us closer to that full dive reality. If you'd like to know more about when this technology will be available, here's a video about when I think it will. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.